Hi guys, and welcome back to Scribe Gaming. I'm your man Scribe, and I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So, yesterday CG pushed out a brand new title update that of course did feature a small cat's tail. I mean, of course, did feature a number of unknown bugs that uh, had absolutely nothing to do with the update at all. But I still think we should probably talk about them. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so we're over here on the right-hand side of the screen, and that's a cat. Excuse me, Smudge. Okay, so this new title update that they dropped did, of course, introduce the brand new Datacrons. So, Datacrons are not actually active in the game, but we have a brand new tab for them that you can see inside of the Character Profile section. Now, it's currently inaccessible until we can achieve our first Datacrons, but we will be able to gain access to them in upcoming Conquests and Territory Wars, which are starting very soon. Um, everybody has their own personal opinions about Datacrons, and I have mine. I'm not quite as doom and gloom as the rest of uh, the community at large seems to be at the moment. I think that we do need something to spice things up. I do wish it was more in the vein of new game modes and uh, additional um, Galactic Legends potentially for us to go and farm something to keep the game exciting and fresh, but Datacrons will have to do because they are going to introduce at least a little bit of flavour to the game modes that uh, are very PvP centric. Um, so I would like to reserve a bit of judgement until I've actually seen them in full flow before I really delve into are they good or are they bad for the game economy, particularly before uh, you know we see just how heavily are they going to be monetized. So, <clears throat> there was a brief quality of life update as well that took me completely by surprise. I was under the impression that CG no longer did quality of life upgrades. So this was very, very pleasant to see. They have completely revamped how the shipments work in CG, in CG, in Galaxy of Heroes, and it's given it a bit more of a fresh look. I particularly like what they've done here with mods. You can actually see all of the secondary stats applied to these mods without having to click on each individual mod to have a look. Let's face it, we're all scanning to see if speed is a secondary stat, and is it four or five? and then we'll buy it, unless it's maybe an arrow or something with a defense primary. So I actually, you know, hats off to CG on this one. I do think that it is a very good quality of life fix. However, and there is always a however in these uh, instances, guys, CG did manage to introduce a number of bugs into the system with this particular update, and I don't know if it's to do with the Datacrons, but for some reason, as you can see down here within the known issues, there is a visual bugs where a bug where mod icons are not showing up in the store. We can actually see it if we go over here. So if we were to go over to the brand new store over here and go down to the mod section, we can't actually see what the mods are, so we still have to click on them and go, oh, that's a square. Oh, that's a cross. Oh, yeah, as you can quite rightfully see. Now, this is a known bug and it is going to be fixed in a future update, and that future update is apparently going to happen tonight, so we can't really be too mad at it because I think overall this is a positive move for the game. The old method was getting a bit stale. I very much like this. This is very useful to me uh, when I'm checking through the store. I can immediately identify you know, they, this could be a mod that is worth getting. It's got a four speed secondary. Nice to see it straight away, right? So I like that, hats off to CG, good move, and glad they're going to fix it. However, this update did actually bring another and probably more serious bug that I'm, I'm sure you're all aware and you've probably all seen if you've been on Reddit or on the official forums, but it does seem that uh, inadvertently this has impacted Granted abilities. Now these are from leadership abilities such as um, Jedi Knight Revan's strategic advantage, um, uh, inherited teachings from Jedi Master Luke, and um, Heroes Arise. I want to say from Jedi Knight Luke, Jedi Master Luke with inherited teachings, Jedi Knight Luke within, uh, with with. Uh, uh, Heroes Arise, I think, is called the ability. Apparently, this update stopped those from functioning in their entirety right at the start of Lightside Geo TV, which has probably hampered many, many runs. And I'm sure people are not particularly happy with that. I will expect CG to make some sort of compensation for this um, in the future. I would hope that they do, because 
This is something that's really impacting lots of GOTB for a number of people, and people will not be happy about it. Um, but, you know, there's always going to be bugs in the system, guys, even if it's not something that uh, they were intended. I, I am half wondering if this is because of Datacrons, and are we going to see Datacrons in the future that actually grant granted abilities? Who knows? Maybe that's why it had some sort of interaction with granted abilities for characters. Time will tell. Time will tell. But guys, that's all I really wanted to catch you up on today. Now, there is uh, already a hotfix for the missing buttons inside Lightside GeoTB. Well, it's not even Lightside GeoTB. The, uh, the granted abilities fix has already been rolled out and I've heard positive things about it. There are still one or two reports of things going a little bit wrong, so I would be cautious at this moment if you're planning on taking in a leadership that happens to rely on granted abilities. But uh, otherwise, a pretty cool update, I thought, all in all. And uh, we can wait with bated breath to see what Datacrons are going to bring to the game. Please let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until the next video, guys, peace out. Just giving a quick shout out to my patrons, I appreciate each and every single one of you, and without your support, I wouldn't be doing this today. Thanks so much.